video is an introduction to a series of videos about the new space race between the United States and China. The series will also cover new nations and multinational cooperation in space exploration. I will mainly focus on the progress on the moon, since that is the place where it will heat up considerably within just a couple of years. Especially interesting is the South Pole region, where more or less all players have ambitions. Both the competition as well as the cooperations on the moon are reflections of the relations between nations on Earth. Terrestrial geopolitics may become lunar geopolitics. Looking back at history, that is where things tend to go. But seen in the longer perspective, it is the never-ending scientific curiosity that leads humanity along its path of development. entered the space age in the mid-1950s at the height of the Cold War. At that time there were only two rivals trying to take the lead in the competition to develop technology for space flights. That was the United States and the Soviet Union. The main driving forces at the time were the ballistic missiles program and the nuclear arms race. Although there has always been a scientific curiosity about space, the life and death character of the Cold War was required to motivate the huge spending necessary to launch these gigantic projects. In a way, the space race may actually have contributed to the preservation of peace, since the competition in space enabled both rivals to get symbolic victories without firing a missile. The space race was driven by a mix of national security, symbolic competition and of course scientific curiosity. It resulted in development of Earth orbiting satellites, space stations, robotic and crewed missions to the Moon as well as to other planets and their moons. There are also space probes from the late 1970s that have left our solar system and entered the interstellar space. Those probes are still sending information back to Earth more than 40 years after the launch, which in of itself is amazing. After the Cold War ended in 1990, the competition cooled off a bit, but progress continued steadily. New multinational cooperation were initiated in the 1990s, such as the International Space Station. At the beginning of the new millennium, once again the dynamics changed when the number of players increased. Strong economic growth had then enabled India and especially China to enter the stage. This rapid development has also created new multinational corporations, but it has also ignited a new rivalry. As the title of this video suggests, one can claim that the new space race has already begun. This time the rivalry is between China and the United States. The Cold War space race was driven by governments' ambitions to protect national security. In this new space race, a new driving force has emerged, that is the private sector of commercial interests. For capital and resource-intensive projects, there is an advantage of splitting the cost and allocation of development resources between the private sector and the governments in order to make rapid progress. That will lead to exploitation of resources that become available during these missions. It could be mining of minerals, energy production or using new technologies for space tourism. The interesting thing in all of this is that the expansion of scientific knowledge and new technologies appears as byproducts, while those actually are the most important and interesting consequences of the space race. The progress in those areas will impact our lives on Earth. After a long period of cooling off after the Cold War, the competition is now heating up again, and the Moon will be the center stage for the first phase of this development permanent human presence on the moon will become a stepping stone for the next huge leap which will be a crewed mission to Mars around year 2040. In a very distant future, perhaps generations down the line, there will likely be bases on Mars as well. But before we look at that, we will go back to where it all started. In the next video I will cover the Cold War space race between the United States and the Soviet Union. The following videos will look at the 1990s development, the new millennium space era, 
and finally future missions in the United States and Chinese space programs. If you are interested in space exploration, remember to subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.